Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about our launch control and anti-lag we're gonna be working with in our Haltech ESP software. So when we wanna launch our vehicle from a standing start, we want to use a stationary rev limiter and that's what the launch control is gonna allow us to do. We're gonna be programming a fixed limiter and we can launch our vehicle and be much more consistent at the drag strip or in a standing start if we're in a road race situation where we want to uh, be on the grid and be able to have a standing start and launch. So in addition to this, if we're on a turbocharged engine and we wanna build boost, we have this option built into the launch control that we can go ahead and pull ignition timing and add fuel, and that's gonna help us build boost off the line, which can help us accelerate even quicker. Now, in addition to all of this, we're able to configure the launch control in a little bit different manner and actually use it as a limiter for something like first gear. So we can actually limit the acceleration rate of the engine so that we don't overspin the tire and we don't have too much tire slip between the driven and undriven wheel. And then we're gonna be going into tire spin and lose acceleration. So we're able to implement that in a different way. So I'm gonna be showing you all the different methods of how to configure the launch control and how to work with it for a naturally aspirated and a turbocharged and a supercharged engine, as well as taking a look at using it as a moving rev limiter. We're gonna have a lot to learn, so let's jump in the video so we can get started. Okay, so let's get started here. We're gonna be taking a look at working with our launch control feature in our Haltech ESP software. We're gonna be finding it's really, really easy to set up and we can utilize this whether it's on a naturally aspirated or a turbocharged engine or even a supercharged engine. Now on a turbo engine, we can use this to build boost off the line so it's gonna act as an anti-lag. So we're gonna be seeing it has dual functionality. So in order to use this, let's jump in here and set it up. So we're gonna go up here to set up I'm gonna go into my add remove functions here. Down at the bottom, I'm gonna be typing in my search launch. It's gonna populate my launch control here. I'm gonna click it, and now it's gonna be added in here to my functions. Now when it's added, we're gonna be finding under the ECU navigator here on the side, we're gonna be seeing launch control, and then we're gonna find that we have fuel correction, ignition advance, and then end RPM. We're gonna be finding that these populate here that we can actually edit some things. Now jumping into our launch control now that's been added, we can see under the wiring, we see input type. Now it's set here on always on. Always on is typically how I set up my launch control. It's gonna require us to have a speed sensor that's gonna be wired in and configured to our Haltech. Now we learned how to do that already, so we at this point should have one set up in our Haltech and reading and calibrate it correctly. Now we have some other choices if we don't wanna use this always on, which is going to have our launch control, again, turn on and off based on vehicle speed. If we select here, we can see launch switch, clutch switch, trans brake input. Now under launch switch here, we're gonna be finding that we have to go ahead and assign it a connection. And in this case, I would choose an SP3 or SP4 sync pulse input. If I choose this and click okay, we're gonna be finding that this option here 